transaction. Christ, what a bitch. Your dad told me you might be captain of the squad this year. I'm proud of you then, eh? Mrs Hammond, could we have a word? We've got a few questions we'd like to ask you. Yeah, who's asking? We'd like to discuss this in private, if we could. You're not the police. Since when the police start dressing like common tarts? You bitch! Run out! Get him in the car! Run. Move! Get him Shut the team up! Zeus! Fuck! Ah! Idiots! Bloody amateurs! Come on, get in the car, quick! Zeus! Get off me! Go, 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 go! Don't worry, Suze. Get our boy back. Shh. Get our boy. Suze! Oh, my God! Susie! Somewhere. Hell, this guy's a nutter. F some of that. Over my dead body. He's here. Who is? Hammond. Oh, fuck. Don't mess with me. Somebody tell Charlie. I'll cover you. I don't like it. It's him, he's coming.
Johnson, you <laughs> bastard! <laughs> I think he's with us again. Morning, sunshine. Good to see you again. Do you sleep well? You look a little drowsy. Grievous, bring the boy around. I want his undivided attention. <laughs> Where's my son, you fat bastard? Patience, Mark, my boy. All in good time. Warning you, Charlie. If you don't tell me where my son is, you better kill me now. Is there any way to greet an old friend? Stop talking and start listening, Hammond. You're in no position to be making demands. What's this all about, Charlie? I thought you'd retired. You know I have. I'm not with the Collins' gang anymore. You know that. I'm running a nightclub. I've been out nearly two months and I'm not in the life. I don't do this shit anymore! Relax, son. You'll do yourself an injury. I'll do you an injury, Charlie. I'll fucking swear I'll kill you. Get back here. Get back here. Eyebrows. Sit Eyebrows. Behind yourself. Make the boy listen. Can you hear me? Are you listening now, Marky boy? Put him in the chair. Do I have your attention now, Marky boy? Because we're going to play a little game. Do you like games, son? Eyebrows, give him the phone. This is the game we're going to play. It's a bit like Simon Says. Only you do what I say. I ring you, you do the job. You don't do what I tell you, the kid dies. You don't do where I tell you, the kid dies. Don't do it when I tell you. The kid dies. You get in my drift. If you want to see your kid alive, you do exactly what I say. You talk to anyone, you're late, or you let me down. Your kid dies. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, what's this all about, Charlie? What are you doing this to me for? I ain't done nothing to you. Still not paying attention. Not a very good listener, are you, son? You're on the run. You killed your wife. You left the murder weapon behind at the scene. You're a convicted bank robber. Do you think the filth are gonna believe you? You better kill me now, Charlie, I'm telling you. It's if you don't. I'll get you for this, I swear! Mark. Such anger. What am I going to do with you? You have no idea, do you, son? You thought I was ready for the old people's home. When Bethnal Green are done with you, we bury you and your kid. Hello? What? Yeah, alright, I'm listening. Rise and shine, Marky boy. You got work to do. Get on with it, Jolson. I want you to pay your old pals down in summer a visit. Fresh Street, innit? I want you to let Nick Collins know you're no longer friends. What's this all about, Charlie? I want you to do a little DIY. I'm not sure I'll get you. I want you to remodel Collins' restaurant in the Republic. I mean, trash it. Smash the place to pieces. Crucify them. No, wait. Torch the place. You got me. Don't lead there until that place is a towering fucking inferno. You're off your fucking rocker, Charlie. That's my old turf. They're friends of mine. You heard me. Just go on it. I'll better be seeing 
Republic on the six o'clock news, or your boy will be all over the headlines by ten. I don't want any excuses, Hammond. Just do the job if you want to see your kid alive. Maggie. 
Jolson. I'll get you first. Charlie X-ray 1, fire on 5th Street. ETA, four minutes. Charlie. You do well, my son. Oh, it's a right honest nest down there in Soho. All right, Charlie. I've done what you asked. I want my kid back. Don't be hasty, my son. I've got another errand I'd like you to do. No way, Jolson. You almost got me killed down there. I hurt people, old friends of mine. And that ain't enough for you, is it? You've got some serious fucking nerve. You better look lively, Hammond. I thought you were in a hurry to see your boy. All right, Charlie, what do you want? The Locus. Those naughty boys from Gerrard Street are having themselves a little society bash in the reptilian gallery in Hyde Park. Now, I wonder what the art crowd would think they knew the 14K were moving smack from the basement. You must be joking. Do you want me to hit the triads? I don't joke, son. Now listen. Those 14K are a bit of the gallery. There'll be all sorts of goop bastards running around. You're going to crash their party. <laughs> Now, mind you, don't disturb them. They get awful mad, them boys, if they feel like they lost face over something. I need you to lift a little something from the basement. However, you've got to go in the front door to get it. Something? Yeah. It's uh, an ornament for the garden. A terracotta soldier. But don't worry, it ain't a big one. Yeah? Well, how am I going to know which one, eh? You can't miss it, son. It's the one with a stupid grin. Now, be careful. It's fragile. It's an historical heirloom. Oh, yeah. And it contains a key of a smack. Now, when you get it, meet me at Reggie's. You know, the spotty dog in Wild. We'll have a nice little drink. You lay one finger on my son, Jolson. I want to talk to him now. All in good time, son. I'm taking very good care of him. Treat him like one of my own. So don't you worry. You worry about your half of the deal and get me that garden gnome. Psycho, what the fuck you been doing, man? You're a fucking dead man after this morning's escapade. Those boys, those boys were mates of yours and you shot them all. What are you ringing me for? Fuck off. Listen, Liam, I can explain. Wait, wait, wait. Explain? Explain what? Would you have shot me if I'd been there too? Look, I don't know. The Bethnal boys murdered Susie. Jolson's kidnapped Alex. And I need some help, right? I've got no one else to turn to, Liam. Bloody hell. Listen, what, can you prove it though? What, Johnson? Charlie Johnson? Yeah, Johnson. What, that old National Front geese in the pinstripe suit? I thought he was in some retirement home or some bed at Margate, and he's got Alex. Fuck yeah, now. Look, listen, the old Bill are looking everywhere for you. You're all over the TV, man. They're saying you killed her, that you printed all over the gun, and that you kidnapped the boy too. Listen, I don't know what you expect me to do, man. I don't even know what I can do. And why should I trust you anyway? Look, Liam, I need you to find Alex, all right? If you can't do it for me, do it for him. I'm already a dead man. You're asking me to risk everything. Look, I know Liam, but he's all I've got. And that evil bastard Jolson's got him. So listen, have you any idea where they're holding him? So you'll help then, yeah? Look, I still won't do. I'm not making any promises. Can I get you on this number? Yeah, look, ring me when you find out anything. I've got to go, mate. Jolson's got me running all over the gaff. 
handful of cheers, Liam. Yeah, yeah, save it, mate, save it. Good morning, sir. Welcome. It's all a facade. These contemporary artists think they can get away with murder. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, thanks, right. Yeah. I'm here to look at the art. Who is he? Your crew! What the fuck is going on? Who do you think you are? This is 14k. Ask somebody. No, this is priceless. Worth it. 
係呢條友唔係幾熟口面喎。Not renegade, Collins gang boss. They shall pay for this insult. Son, you done very, very well. I see you bought a little something for me. <laughs> How thoughtful. He's doing well, isn't he, lads? <laughs> Charlie, I'm tired of this. You want this statue? You give me my son. Is that what you call gratitude? I'll take your boy in like he's one of my own. Good old Uncle Charlie. Can you believe it, Harry? Yeah. I'm not playing your games anymore, Charlie. I'm fucking sick of it. He's out of order. 
He should learn some manners. He didn't seem to learn last time. Maybe we should give him another lesson. I think we might have to, Harry. Don't push me, Charlie. Steadies. Don't be silly, boy. Think what could happen to your little Alex. You're in no position to play around. I ain't messing around, Charlie. <laughs> oh. I'll fucking do you badly oh, that's enough, enough, Harry. Harry, <laughs> Harry. fuck it. Fucking get off! I'm not going for him yet. Get off! Can you hear me, boy? It's only a two way contract. You don't get out till I fucking say you're out. Right? I can't trust you now, Marky boy. You spurn the hand of friendship. So, I'm sending eyebrows with you on a little mission to the courthouse. You see, they got our lad Jake. You remember Jake? You've had a few runnings with him in the past. However, he can be pleased to see you, because you're going to break him out. Now, he'd be crawling with filth. They'd be all over the place. Some of the boys will take care of the escort. You just get in the fucking van and ram it off the road. I'll be able to take care of the rest. Are you getting this? Don't you disappoint me, Hammond. Let's hope Harry is not some fucking sensitive to you. Fucking manners! <laughs> yeah, Mark, it's Liam. What the fuck have you been up to, man? The whole of Chinatown's gone mad. You're a bloody mobile disaster. It's not my choice, mate. That bastard Jolson's got me right where he wants me. <coughs> Look, I can't find your boy anyway. He's still got to be at Charlie's warehouse, mate. I don't know about going there. I doubt if I get him near the place. I'm climbing the walls, mate, worrying about him. If I don't do this shit, he's dead. And if we don't find him, just don't bear thinking about. <laughs> look, I keep asking around, man, because look, this is getting out of control. I'll make this up to you, Liam. You're a diamond, mate. Well, listen, man, how about laying low until we can sort this out? <laughs> I'd love to, mate. I really would. Bastard Jolson's got me right where he wants me. Running round all over town. Look, just ring me if you hear anything, all right? All right, mate. <laughs> I've not got all day, Ammon. Come on. Try and be a bit discreet. Right then, the old Bailey, if you be so kind. Hey, I just polished that. some coppers. See this? Hey, go on, Belfie. Come on, let's have a grab it. Hey, the boys, look. Do it, Hammond, do it. Try my fucking hardest. Now my man drives faster than this. You idiot! Get off the fucking road!
Easy. Oi, just get Jake and let's get out of here, eh? All right, Bell. Jake. You look like you're having a laugh here, mate. Jay, good to see you, mate. I'm having a right laugh. I'm killing myself. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that prick doing here? He's Charlie's little women boy. He does whatever the governor tells him, don't you, son? Think we can get the hell out of here before every copper in London turns up, or what? We never did have much sense of humour. All them Collins lot of people wankers. What are you doing, Bert? Just tidying up a few details. It's too bad you never made it, Jake. Yeah, it's a bloody tragedy, mate. Well, at least we'll have a few drinks at your funeral. Yeah? Well, yeah, give that to you. If I'm gonna go, I might as well top myself. Yes! Can we get the hell out of it then? What's your fucking hurry, Hammond? Got any more grenades, bro? No, we got out some Russian geezer to find out what he's right to come by. But I'll tell you what, have a go on this. We've got a few rounds left in the clip. That's the door, I suppose. Oh, it's psycho! Every cock in London will be here in a minute. Can we do this later? All right, all right. He's almost... He's getting a fucking car. Come on, you fucking bastards. Have some of this. Keep your head down, Jake. You meant we could do.
in here. Oh, 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 sorry, crazy bastard. How did you get out? You scared the shit out of me. Call yourself villains. Jumped around like bloody schoolgirls. Could have been a filth, you'd have all been nicked. Speaking of which, how the fuck did you get out? I had some help from me mate Brow and this tosser from Sorrow Ammy. Fuck you, Jake. I'll tell you what, though. No, it's worth getting banged up for the fun I had getting out. Here, I've just seen it. It's all over the telly. It looks absolutely mental. Mental? You calling me crazy, fat boy? No, mate, never. We're all glad to see you, ain't we, lads? Yeah. In fact, we've got a little welcome home present for you, if you'd like. Come on up and see. Not choose to. You stay here and watch him. Ammon, I've got some business to attend to upstairs. I'll see you later. What the fuck's going on over there, man? It sounds like a slaughterhouse. I don't know, mate. I think they're laying into some poor bastard upstairs. Have you given the place a good going over yet? I've got to take this chance now while they're occupied. Alex has got a beer somewhere. I'd better move, mate. All right, Emmett. You heard Jake. Stay here and we won't beat the shit out of you. I'm kiking in my boots, mate. All right. Can't let them see me. Shit, I can help you now. Is it? Is it? I've never seen anything like it. Fuck, I need a fat. He's like one of them yellow chickens that hang up in a window. Right, boys. I think we've done with Johnny here. Let's leave him in peace. There's too many of them. I think I'll let the power off. Run around and check on Johnny, will ya? I'll have a look.
back here now they mull it in. I can't see out this fucking van, but suddenly we're driving along, it gets knocked sideways. <sighs> Charlie's office. I've looked everywhere. There's no sign of Alex. I suppose it was a long shot that they'd keep him here anyway. Hang on a minute. This looks interesting. I'm looking at a map of London. And it looks like Charlie's Monopoly board. He's got places marked all over. There's a lock-up in Scoresby Street in Southwark. There's a big house in Mayfield on Upper Brook. There's a depot in King's Cross. Can you check them out for me, mate? All right, man, give me the addresses again and I'll try. Look, do it, Liam. Just ask around, mate. I'm running out of time. Oi, Hammond. What are you doing? Oi, boys, in here. I thought I told you to stay put. You think I'm doing moron? I'm looking for my kid. What do you call me? A Mormon. The fuck's that? You know a Mormon? In Bible bashes, come around knocking on your door, telling you Jesus is a fucking yank. You must be losing it, Hammond. I've just been talking to Charlie about you and your little boy. Very touching. But now you've got a job to do for us. You're going to run this geezer over to Chinatown. It won't take long. That's him. Oh. He's a little <laughs> lost right now. Run him over to Gerard Street. Fucking, you're a maniac, Jake. You're sick in the fucking head. Sick? Sid, you want to see how sick I really am, you soft sorrow wanker? Jake, fucking calm down. All right, Charlie all right. Charlie needs him to do the job. All right. I'll let this lie for now, as we're old friends. I'll let this slide. You've got a job to do. You've got a small delivery to make. You see, Johnny here needs to find his way home. He ain't feeling so good. He's just about ready to meet his ancestors. So take him over to Sing Fu over in Chinatown. And Ammon, don't get yourself clipped. We've got big plans for you and little Alex. Just drop him and shift it. The 14K ain't going to be too pleased to stay there. Fucking boy's got himself into. They'll be after you, but don't lose them. Bring them down to Hollywell Street, off of worship, and we'll be waiting. Bring them all down. We'll massacre them all, OK? Fucking genius, Jake. Do you really think so? This is a joke, right? You want me to drive clear across London with this thing sitting next to me? Fuck. What are you worrying about? It looks good. Like a kung fu movie. Ah, oh, grasshopper. Yeah, grievous. You worry me, mate. And you, cut these tapes and kick him out the fucking door. You ain't gonna have much time for anything else. We're doing you a favour, you got that? Now get going. Oh, ah, jump, jump. Oh. This won't take long. Are you ready, Johnny boy?
missing?
this is it. Unlucky, eh? Unlucky, eh? I'll kill him. Charlie! Not quite, sorry. Charlie wanted me to relay a message. Fuck Charlie's message. That mental case Jake almost got me killed. Sent me in a war zone between the Yardies and the Triads. What's his game? It's fucking bodies all over the place. Fucking Jake. Boost the motor and get out of there. Charlie's got something for you. He needs this one, son. He needs it bad. Do this one for him and he'll owe you. He'll definitely give you your boy back. He already owes me. He owes me blood. He killed my wife. Yeah, shame about that, Marky. Nice Harris, that one. But that can't be helped now, can it? The bill ain't giving you much sympathy, neither. So here's the drill. You do this job, you get your boy back. You fuck it up, he ends up in a river. It's that simple. How do you want to play it? Get to the point, Harry. All right, son. You're in a cop shop. Charlie wants that louse of a bent cop of McCormack stone cold. You're having a laugh, ain't you? How the hell am I supposed to manage that? McCormick, the head of the flying squad, Bent, he's the one who nicked me for that five-year stretch. Shut it and listen. 
He's been Charlie's bitch for ten years. Where the fuck He's been a two-faced wanker. Fire, He's been working bitch. the other side, playing with the baboons. Don't fucking look at me now he's had like Charlie's special girl Yaz been brought in. Lady, Got to her before she could get to him. Charlie's worried she'll whistle. He wants them dead. Both of them. So how the fuck do I do that? Shall I just waltz into Snow Hill? Waving my hands around? Shut up and listen. Charlie's sorted it. He's got your van and a uniform. They're expecting you. Faulty phones. You're getting geared up to fix the dogs. Just get your ass over to Grosvenor Place and pick up the van if you want to see your boy. So how shall I do it, eh? How do I get a gun into a police station? Or shall I just strangle them with the phone call? Get to the evidence room. There's plenty of hardware lying around here. It's on the first floor. You're in deep now, son. Very deep. You're going to have to play very rough if you ever want to get out and see the boy. some wheels. Come on! Come on. 
be it then. Yeah. Mark, I'm getting no joy at the depot, mate. No one's been in and out there all day. If Alex has been in there, I've definitely seen something. I'm on my way to have a look at the lockup right now. I'm having a bloody clue, mate. If he's not, there's only one place left to try. And I've got to go, mate. There's something I've got to do right now. Oh, no, what are you up to now? You don't want to know, Liv. You definitely don't want to know about this one. You ain't gonna be too speedy in that heap of shit, are you? What 
Watch it, you maniac. This brings back bad memories. Took your time, didn't you? Come with me. It was a traffic. It's murder out there. It's just round here, come on. This way, mate. This is it. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you stay here. People get a bit arsy. Where's the bloody evidence room? I didn't do it! Let me out! I'm innocent! You've got the wrong guy! I thought Carter worked armed robberies. Yeah, he does. First Soho and Collins, then Chinatown and the Yardies. What the fuck is this man up to? This is what I'm after. Which fucking room is she in, you idiot? I'm not a fucking mind reader. One, we had a bloody nightmare bringing her in. Me, Stubbs and Ryan, she's lethal. Hey, you in there, what's the latest on Fielding? Any change? Yeah, the hospital called earlier. He's stable, but he's still in intensive. I'll keep you posted. You're gonna follow me all day, you brown-nosed prick. Get on with some work. I'll be in with Yuka. Yes, sir. Sorry, Gov.
get up. Out. Get that gun. We'll make it out of here, okay? You'll see your kid again. What makes you so confident? Right now, our chances are about 100 to none. Probably. But you're forgetting something. For you, this is just some crazy vendetta. But for me, this is my job. I kill people for a living, Mark. I'm good at this shit. Unlucky, eh? Go on. Go on, I'm right behind you. Wait, quick. Dead. Well fucking done, Hammond. And yes, been. Yeah, her too. Shame. Not a bad piece of crumpet. 
But you know women, mate. Too much hassle. He's only gone and done it. McCormack and the bird. See if you underestimated him. Well, since I've lost one girl today, he can just get me another. I hear Layla's down at the toucher, conscious his new bar and solo. Tell Marky I kind of prefer if <laughs> she was here with me. Right, Hammond. Head on down to the touch of class. Your man Colin seems to have hired some dancing slut. Goes by the name of Layla. She's one of Charlie's birds, and he'd like you to politely ask her to come back. Bring her to Charlie's cafe, mate. You heard me. Get her and bring her here. When's this gonna end, Harry? This is getting past the point of ridiculous. I'll never get in and out of there in one piece. I'll, I'll be better off blowing the whistle and taking my chances. And maybe Jamal and his yardy boys would like to know what's going on as well, eh? It ends when Charlie bloody says so, all right. I'm looking at your boy right now. Just move it. been doing this stuff for a long time. What stuff? You know, shooting people, helping strangers, that type of thing. Yes and no. Yeah, I did. But I'm five years out of date. Well, it's about time we brought you up to speed. Shit, snakes like 
Shame it. Last time with this one. Cheers. Third two, yeah? This Hammond. Uh, uh, How are you feeling now? Uh, uh, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Please don't shoot. I have Mark! Mark over here! Oh, tell me, Aina. Mark meet Layla. Layla meet Mark. Poor bitch. Must have copped it in the crossfire. What the fuck are we gonna do now? I don't know. I'm really up shit creek now. What's Charlie gonna do when I don't show this slag? Calm down. I've got an idea. Sort of. And it'll sort Charlie out too. Yeah? How do you suppose we're gonna do that? That fag maggot loves this slag. Just get our boots off. Our boots? Charlie, what do you want? I don't give a flying fuck, I want my boy. Yeah, I've got her, the cowgirl, right? You want to talk to her? Layla, Charlie wants a word. Charlie, how are you? I'm OK. Oh, look, Charlie, I'm really, really sorry. I said I'm sorry, Charlie. Of course I'll come over. I've always got time for my big Charlie boy, ain't I? You better be sorry. You're a naughty girl. <laughs> you caused me a lot of trouble. Not half as much trouble as I'd like to cause you. Put that mark on, darling. Dirty old tosser. I knew he'd go for it. He wants you. What do you want now, Charlie? Unless you're handing over Alex, I'm not interested. Just drop the girl at the gate, son. I'll see to her. You, my son, are doing so bleeding well. I might just give you one last assignment. One more job, and we're quits. No way, Jolson, no fucking way. You want the girl, you hand over my boy now. Calm down. You're on the home straight. All you gotta do is pay Jamal's jungle bunny chemist a visit. <sighs> you must be out of your tiny fucking mind, Charlie, if you think I'm doing anything else for you. Think about it, Hammond. There's a lot of ways lying around up there in Riverton Street. What are you going to do when you get your boy? You're the most wanted man in London. Probably England right now. You're going to need a little going away present to buy your way out of town. Just do the job, and we'll split the cash at the depot. And you, my son, go and play Ronnie Biggs on the Costa. If I do this, Charlie, 
I'll get my boy back, yeah? Just do the job and meet me at the depot in King's Cross with a dosh. You'll get your dues, Marky boy. You'll get your dues. He's trying to fuck me over. He wants me to do the yardies for their crack money. Forget him, Mark. Once I'm inside, it'll all be over. No. I'm gonna do it. What's one more suicide mission? I'm gonna do it, but not for him. I'm gonna need the money so me and Alex can blow town. And I can pay you back. You sure you can get in, yeah? Don't worry. You'll be dead before you even get to Rivington Street. Charlie Jolson, I'm going to have you this time. From 451, I need armed response. I'm on Brewer Street. I hear gunshots. You know Charlie's place. You can't miss it. It's the biggest pad in Mayfair. We need to lose them now. They're going to kill us. Known Charlie Long. Since I was a kid. So Charlie was worried you'd squeal, eh? No, and he knows I would. It's just an excuse. Charlie's intimidated by me.
Find your hammer, know that. You know why you go down the baby? You know, go down the don't go. Yeah, stop it, Adam. We are going down the F summer, eh? That's Stephanie. Yo, this is tough, man. 
Yeah, my man. Yeah, man, I hate this, man. We had a whole thing. We had a whole thing for luck. Where's the cash? And why, why that gun? I feel your belly hurt you. and I'll go. So this is what everyone's been dying for. Liam, it's Mark. Things are definitely looking up, mate. I think I've just hit the fucking jackpot. I'm standing here with about 300 grand's worth of yardy blood money. You're gonna need it, mate. I don't think any amount of cash is gonna get you out of this one. No, you're probably right. But if we're to stand any chance, I'm gonna need this cash. So wait, have you got him? No, nah, not yet, but I think I've finally got it covered. I've got a plant inside Charlie's mansion, and she's on the case, mate. She must be pretty brave, man, or are you a shitload to take that lot on? Yeah, I suppose she is. I mean, she does, yeah. Look, you get your ass over at Riverton Street. It can't be long till the filth get here. The money will be in the boot and the keys will be on the driver's side rear tyre. I'll boost another one to get out of here, alright? So what will you be doing? Won't Charlie be expecting the cash then? Look, don't you worry about Charlie or Jake. It's time I did London a favour and took care of those two. Look man, please don't do anything stupid. What have I got to lose, Liam, mate? Eh? Only a pile of cash and your kid. Look, if anything happens to me, you use the cash to take care of him, alright? You don't have to ask me. I've got to get out of here now. Charlie's expecting me over at King's Cross. Well, you do your worst, mate. If she can get Alex, I've got a chance to get out of town. What's going on? <laughs> Finally.
Oi, Hammond. You're not doing too bad for a Collins boy. Now hand over the fucking cash. Don't insult my intelligence. Where's Charlie? Where's my boy? He didn't say anything about handing the cash over to you. You want the cash? You produce my boy now. So much attitude. What do I do to deserve this? I don't know, Jake. Seems like no one appreciates a good guy these days. Have we finished with the comedy routine? Yeah, we have. Now hand over the fucking money. Catch, dickhead. You got your fucking money. Now finally, hand over my boy. You didn't seriously think Uncle Charlie would play ball, did you? No, I didn't. Be too much to expect any honour from the Jolsons. Honour amongst thieves, maybe. Maggots, never. What did he say? What the fuck is his stench? What the fuck? What the fuck? Is he so Oi, where'd he go? Sparky, you head over there. We're taking from around here. So close. Christ's sake! 
Charlie's not playing for him. Fuck Charlie, he's mine. Him if you top him. No, he's mine. I'm selling to someone else. Oh, you've been a bad boy. You betrayed my trust, Mark. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a man who don't keep his word. In a right, Yasmin. <laughs> Didn't quite manage it, did you, darling? I think you were losing your touch or uh, got your mind on other things, maybe. Get on with it, Jolson. You've always been a drama queen. Why don't you just clipped us? <laughs> yeah, Charlie. The suspense is killing me. Really, children? There's nothing that would give me more pleasure. However, I've got bigger fish to fry. You see, everyone in this town, including my imbecile nephew, thinks I've gone soft. Come a right soft toucher, a regular pushover. I've got the baboons all over North London running guns doing crack. The fucking locals with their smack in Chinatown. The fucking Colin boys' nonces mussing on the skin trade. All in my manner. My fucking manner! Mine for 20 glorious years. They think they can eat away at me like cancer, piece by piece. And I'll sit on my fat ass, twiddling my thumbs. But they're wrong, ain't they? That's right, Charlie. I bet I'm jumping through hoops. It's been a fucking bloodbath. It's all down to you, my son. <laughs> well, now I've got all them cockroaches down to a manageable level, I'm gonna throw my bone. A little ray of hope from soft old Uncle Charlie. Unfortunately, my son, it's going to be you. Mark, the prodigal return. The bad boy that's burned up half of London. <laughs> Eyebrows, you the river. And the bomb? <laughs> Good. We're all set for a little meeting, then. What's wrong with a fucking bomb? We're still with lads. Now to extend some invitations. Why? She's Charlie Jolson. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lee. Charlie Jolson, one Lee. Are you ever see Gone Hall or one of them now? Charlie Jolson. Oh, you've been having a spot of trouble with the blacks and those wangers from Soho. We're in the spirit of racial cooperation. I'm going to give you the boy that's been causing you all this strife. You fucking bastard, Jolson. <laughs> yeah, he's Mark Hammond. You know the fella. One of college's old boys. Who? Mark Hammond? Right. I'm sure you'll be interested in having a word with him. Mark Hammond? You bet your fucking balls I would. That's a fucking spirit. We'll sort out a cushy little meeting point, and I'll get back to you in the hour. We'll give him a proper little send-off. Just remember, this is an exclusive fucking engagement. You get one guest only. I don't want any of your heavies. What about this evil shit, Charlie? The boys are bringing down at the party. I want one of Marky and his new pair of crumpets to miss this one. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> Come on, let's go and lay the table. <laughs> now I'm truly fucked. I've committed every crime known to man to get my boy back. And I'll find out I was just a pawn in that mad maniac scheme. Those fucking dry boys are really going to enjoy feeding meat to the fish. You did better than most. Looks like everyone underestimated you. It's me who's messed this up. I'm supposed to be good at this, remember? Instead, I've been caught like a rat in Charlie's trap. Yeah, well, at least you tried. At least I had one other person on my side. I just wish I had a little more time to spend with Alex before. I've been banged up for nearly all his life, and when I finally get out, this shit happens. I saw your kid. You did? How was he? Was he okay? He was okay. He'd been crying, but apart from that, he was all right. He must look like his mum, because he doesn't look much like you. I only saw him for a second anyway, before all of Charlie's high-tech shit came crashing down around me. You did better than I did. I didn't even get close. A fat slag will probably blow up half of London and I'll take the rap for that as well. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Are you two just going to sit there feeling sorry for yourselves or do you want to stop that little Hitler? I know you. 
You're that copper from the prison van bust. He's filth, Mark. Frank Carter of the Flying Squad. That's right. And only a fucking choice you've got right now if you don't want to end up wasting away in the nick. Yeah? Well, why is a bill want to help me? You can make a name for yourself just by turning me in. I know what it's up to, Hammond. I heard the old thing. I need you alive to ruin his plan. You're no good to me dead. Besides, you wouldn't last a night in the cells of this town. Not after Snow Hill. Don't trust him, Mark. He's filth. Look, as it is, I'm a dead man. And so is my boy. You give it to me straight, Carter. What do you want? I'll take that as an agreement for now. For now you're working for me, you do what I tell you. Don't fucking do it. Everybody knows he's just obsessed with Nick and the Jolsons. You get me out of here. You let me and her get my kit to safety. And I'll do whatever you want. Whatever it takes, Carter. Are you in? I'll help you, but don't trust him. He's no better than Charlie. That's good enough for me. Right, I'm gonna blast this door. When I do, I'll elaborate loose upstairs. I'll try and cover you from up the hall. Take this shooter and try and get out. Remember the kid's still at Charlie's Gap, but you better hurry. Call me on this number when you've got him. I'll cut Jake off. Remember, Hammond, you owe me. You owe me your life. Get one thing straight, Carter. I want Jolson as much as you do, but we get my boy to safety first, all right? OK, Hammond. Now stand back. I'm going to blast this door. Let's go. I'll take the gun. You follow me. I'm right behind you. Get this gun. I'll cover you. OK, I'm on it. Don't let me down, Hammer. We're in this together, remember? Watch out, Yasmin. Feel that, bitch. Make sure you kill them, bub. Unlucky, eh? I'll take care of these creeps. You get the car. You guys were always shit. This isn't a game, Hammond. Get serious. Look, yes, just get in the car, will ya? Look, yes, just get in the car, will ya?
you want to see your son again or what? Mark, there's... Laser beams. How do I find them? Pressure pads on the floor. Turn them on and off. down the front of your trousers. Watch out for the girl. Too late, darling. I'm in. about this one? Get your gas mask on! Fuck me, this is like Charlie's trophy room. He's got a thing about the Empire.
Take the boy to Charlie. Unlucky, eh? Touching. gonna do now, Mark?
shit, that guy's got a gun. I think we need a fast one. What are you pissing around for? Come on, let's go. Oh my God, oh my God. Out of the car. Hey, yes, come on, we've got to go. Don't do it, don't do it. Stop, I need your details. Whatever happens down there, I just want you to know. I owe you one. You don't owe me. We've both got our own interests on that ship. There's no time. Every cop in London's on us. Step on it, Mark. We can't have much time. No one's in a bigger hurry than me.
details. Shake him, Mark. We've got a loser. Come on, let's go. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, I thought you were a pro. Yard triads, colleagues. Fuck, they're all in. For him. I've got to be Carter to it. Whatever, yes. I just want to get Alex. I'm going down there. What are you pissing about for? Come on, we've got to go.
fucking muppet. singing for a piece of shit like you. What are you on about, Harry? Susie? it. It's all over, Harry. Alex! Alex! Dad, I thought you were dead! Oh, thank Christ, you're okay. Charlie's bomb. You could blow up half of London with that thing. Don't worry, it's not activated. But I'd love to know who's got the detonator. What took you so long, anyway? Harry, he's making amends with his maker. That lecherous prick eyebrows got some of the same. You seen Charlie or Jake? We don't have to worry about Psycho Jake anymore. The bomb's over here. In all that carnage, they forgot to detonate it. We don't think they still won't. Where's the remote? There's a detonator loose on the super junk. And where the hell's Charlie? Who cares? You've got your kid. We're all still alive. Now let's get the hell out of here. Well, that might be okay for you, but it's time London did without all the Jolsons. He's right here if you want him, cos I dropped the piece. You as well, crazy man. Well, it finally looks like we've got all our problems under one roof, doesn't it? Fat man arranges a meeting. It's supposed to be a demilitarised zone. And as soon as we sit down, guns start going off all over the place. Now, we think the fat man might be showing a little bit of bad faith. Especially considering all the trouble we've been having with this vigilante over there. And then we find our man here trying to sneak off the boat. We come down here and find it's like a fucking slaughterhouse. Now, it's a 
Good job. I brought my boys along. Somebody better start telling me what the fuck's going on here. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot more claret spilt aboard this ship. I can explain, Nick. I can explain everything. Explain. Fucking explain! I should hope you care for your sake, son. You've got quite a few people here who would like some serious words with you. Nick, let him speak, man. Let's find out what the hell's been going on here. I should just kill you. God knows I want it. You have caused me a lot of grief, Emmett. Nick, come on, man. Let's hear him out. Let's hear what he's got to say. You're surely not going to listen to this fucking National Front lunatic. <laughs> what I tell you, I arranged this meeting to hand over the boy who's been causing you all this problem. He's caused you all an injury. He topped your people, Collins. And here he is, delivered on a silver fucking platter. Just like I promised. Shut it, fat man. You promised me the situation would be cool. No heavies. And the ship did a crawl with your boy then. You promised me the crazy man. Instead, we have to come down here and find him for himself. I think the best solution for the problem is for we just do you know. We say, China man. Such a good. Mr. Bobby Lee agrees. Kill him now. Are you all blind? Can't you see what's going on here? Let the boy go, Nick. I'll take what's coming. It's not his fault. Let the boy and the girl go. All it's ever been about is the boy. Just hear me out. I'm listening. He killed Susie, Nick. Right in the street, in front of my gaff. He kidnapped Alex and blackmailed me into doing jobs all over town. The only part I couldn't figure out was why he was having me taking turns in hitting you. Then you, and then you. I did it. I admit it. And I'll take what's coming. But I was protecting my boy. And he deserves a chance, doesn't he? Continue. This story is very interesting. He played us all like a game of chess. Sending me against you, and then watching you take chunks out of each other. While he sat back and smoked his fat fucking cigar. <laughs> I'll bring out the fucking violins. You're breaking my bleeding heart. You can't seriously be listening to this mad tosser. He killed his wife. I took his kid in out of my respect for his Susie. He's gone loop the fucking loop. Why'd you think he brought you all here? To give you my cabin? Someone would have got to him eventually. We all know that. Either you guys or the police. Who do you think has benefited the most from all this strife? Who would like all of you lot out the way so that things were just like the good old days? And who would be mad enough to plant a bomb that would blow up half the waterfront just to make sure he had no rivals? Oh, I saw you stay fat man. You prefer them old days without competition. You say you want to help we with our problem. But all the while it's a joke thing you are playing upon me. You want to block the whole town with that? You are a fucking dinosaur, Charlie! This is the new millennium. We make more money on porno on the internet than you ever made in the knocking shots of Soho. London is multicultural. It always was. Only people like you never realised it. I mean, you're like a bad hangover from a different era. An era that's about to end. I'm letting you go, Mark. You were and a boy. Look, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. But it still don't make it right, does it? I lost some good lads because of you. Lads that I'm gonna miss. Now, I'm letting you go, son. Get out of London and get out tonight. And don't let me ever see your face in this town again. Do you hear me? 
You're spoken out of place, Mr. Collins. This man has killed many men, and he has been very bad for business. I ask this as a favor, Mr. Lee. He'd done it for his kid, and I'd have done the same for mine. But you're from Hamilton. We are prepared to recognize this favor and will, at the proper time, ask a favor in return. Now, you gonna give me a problem over this? This boy, and kill me boy, that man steal my money. So me not really too happy about him still alive. And I want the people then to think he can mess with Jamal and be taking liberties. However, for the sake of our little racial unity, I'm prepared to let him and him boy go free. Now move! Now, you heard him, Hammond. Now get the fuck out of here, and don't let me ever see your face in this town again. Do you hear? Now, now we can have some fun with his lordship here. I'll miss you, big boy. But whatever you do, don't cry. I don't think you'll be getting much sympathy here. What about the cop, Nick? He's been straight up. Shut it, Mark. You're pushing your luck. I gave you a break because of Suze, but I'll never go out on a limb for the filth. I can't have the filth knowing my business. Anyway, so I pulled her over. Then, hold on a minute. This looks interesting. That's the brow. So what's the brow doing at one of their bargain basement brothels, eh? Let's move. We'll have him. Hold on, Frank. Whenever the brow is about, his psycho boss isn't hard to find. Take a look at this. What the hell? Oh, you little beauty. It's only crazy Jake Jolson. Oscar Sierra from DI Fielding. Attention requested to a Jake Jolson. I see one male, 30 years, muscular build, short cropped hair, wearing a dark overcoat, black trousers. Last seen Fawcett Street Junction with Harrowby Street. Approach with caution. May be armed. Over. Right, now we go. What about the backup frame? You can wait if you like, but I'm going in. Okay. I'm just giving you an head start. Can't you keep up, Carter? Okay, Joe. I'll back you up. Frank, go there. We'll trap them. Carter, you filthy pig! Don't mess with the filth. I don't want to die! Come for you. Let 
Look, I've done everything, but I'm not doing that. Where the fuck are you? You picked the wrong copper. Don't play stupid. I'm after Jake. What the? Sure, Joe, you'll make it all right. Frank, I'll never get this day night. Go after him. Don't worry, just get him. Go upstairs. Carter, you filthy bitch. Look, Carter, I have boys like you just get in the way. I'm used to taking all the risks and wiping your asses. Okay, Carter. Trojan units here. Now stand back. <sighs> Up ahead. I'm going in. Where the hell are they? This is a nightmare. Carter, you shit. I'll have you this time. Carter, you should check on your precious. How about you guys leave me alone with this piece of shit for a few minutes? DC Fielding has been shot. I'll take the Vetra. I can't wait for an ambulance. Are you sure, Frank? They'll be here soon. Some of the police in this town are just too friendly with the villains for it to be a coincidence. What are you talking about, Joe? Oh, we're almost there.
Carter! Him again! We can just make sure that whistle don't do the interrogation. In fact, I want you and Jay to discreetly let DC Car know about Jamal's latest delivery on the Thames. Get him out of here and I'll only send saviors. Stop your panicking, Charlie. I know the drill. I've got to go. He's here. You wanted to see me, Gov? Yes, Carter. Come in. Is Jolson ready for interrogation? Yeah. I've got him waiting in there now. I'm just going to let him stew before I go at him. That won't be necessary, Carter. I'll be leading the Jolson interview. You what? What are you playing at? This is my case. He shot Joe. I'm not going to sit back while Oi, you Carter, take over. Oi, Carter, shut it. You're too close to this. This is procedure. You know that. Fuck procedure. This is my case. Enough of the back chat. I'm the fucking boss around here. Are we clear on that? Yes, Gov. We are. Now get out of here. The word on the street is that Jamal's Yardy boys are bringing in a big consignment of crack. You better give me something, Jolson, if you don't want the maximum. You know what it'll be like if that officer dies. Tell me, why would I give you anything, copper? You know how it is, Jake. You've been in and out of jails all your life. A judge likes it if you show a little bit of remorse. Here's how it's going to be, cop killer. They're going to have you in Broadmoor with all the other head cases. Everybody knows about crazy Jake Jolson. Oi. I'm not mental, OK? They'll have you so drugged up, you'll be dribbling down the front of your shirt and taking it out the back door from every orderly like a bit of rough. Hold on. I could be helpful. What do I care about the spear chuckers? It's a demo. Just east of town, Rich. In St Saviour's. That's all I know. How about a fucking time? Well, you want directions? How would I know? Can I read jungle drums? Fucking filth, don't want much. <laughs>
Lunchable, out of call. this way. Jamal I go mad when him find out, you know. Bumbo clam, I don't know all the boy them find out. They get the whole thing locked. You must see something to do with them Chinese boy because if them own all of the warehouse them wrong, yeah. Hey, you too. Shut up. Shut up, up. Shut up. Don't, don't, don't push me, me tell you already, you know. Tell you, guys. Shut up. Shut up. Echo Oscar 5 from MP, Cortis Fifth Street, Soho. Serious disturbance. Shots have been fired. 
Welcome response, we're on the way. MP, over. MP, MP, Echo 5, show us dealing your last, over. Received Echo 5, the address is now showing us the Republic restaurant in 5th Street. Approach with caution. Echo Oscar from Echo 5, all received. ETA, four minutes.
All received. Oscar Sierra, 231 out.
off down there. That's flying squad training.
bad. Oh, no, nothing. Cheers, guys. I try to stay in shape, you know. What the Jesus fucking Christ do you call this? There's enough fucking claret spilt here to paint the whole fucking town red. This is not the A-team, Sonny. What's your problem, Mac? I've just managed to pull off more collars in half an hour than Operation Bloody Trident has in two years. Who do you think you are, Rambo? This is London, not fucking Hollywood. You've endangered the lives of hundreds of innocent bystanders. I've had enough of your slap happy cowboy approach to this job. You put too many lives at risk. Including my own. When was the last time you put your life in the line for this job, you fucking desk jockeys? How many lives did I save it today? When the villains round here start carrying water pistols instead of lethal fucking weapons, then maybe I'll start clipping around the ear. Until then, just let me do my fucking job. All right. Carter, make sure you're at Crazy Jake's transfer. I don't want any more of your fuck-ups, do you hear? I'm undercover. I don't do escorts. You'll do whatever I fucking tell you, do you hear? Now get out of here. McCormack. I know it is, you muppet. I rang, remember? Charlie. Well done. Now we know everyone is, I'd like to talk business. I want my nephew back on the street. Is it sorted? Of course, you know the arrangements. Good. I know he's a little highly strung, but he's got a good heart and he means well. He's a fucking psycho, Charlie. A mad dog that needs fucking putting down. <laughs> yeah, he has his moments. But his family, what can I do? Anyway. Just make sure it goes smoothly. Don't disappoint me, McCormack. Okay, everyone, keep your distance, speed even. God damn it. Why do I have to rescue? We've been rammed! Get the bastard in the Range Rover! No way! Cloud into it. I'm following towards Bishop Street. Backup requested, don't lose him. Jesus, you just hit me. Right wing, heading east, driving up the main road.
side of the road. history, Carter. That's it. I've had it up to here with your lunatic antics. What the hell do you think you were doing? I was trying... Don't answer that. I'm not finished. Why didn't you call for backup? I was responding to what... Shut was... it! Who asked you? It's all over for you, hero. We've got six dead police officers. That's six families without a bloody breadwinner thanks to this bloody carnage. You must be having a laugh, McCormack. I was put through the fucking blender. What about your rock tip? Where was the tip off about automatic weapons and grenade launchers? That was a fucking setup. You are an amateur, Carter. You run around this town like some sort of vigilante with a badge, thinking that you're special, that you're outside the law. It's over, cowboy. You're suspended. I'm having you on charges. You were treading on thin ice, and now you've just cracked it. Get out! You're off the fucking case, do you hear? Forget it, Mac. This stinks. The whole operation stinks and I'm going to find out why. Frank, I've been waiting for you. It's those new DCs. They're in deep trouble. We can't raise them on the radio. Calm down. What's going on? McCormack's got them casing that crack house. Jesus. The Rockies. There's no way they can handle that. Who's going in after them? No one. It's supposed to be a surveillance job. Right. I'm for it then. What about that screaming? I thought you were suspended. Fuck him. He can arrest me later.
Hills. Close. I am that man. Police, I'm searching this property. What if we do with the police wire them upstairs? Don't move. I've got your cover. Game over for you, cowboy. No, but I need them thing there in the start. Yo, I two more, you two half man thing. These plants need a trim. See the boy there, I'm on. Don't mess with me, crook. Oh, thank fuck you're here. Harris is either passed out or dead. I can't raise him. What happened? As soon as we arrived, they just jumped us. It was like they knew we were coming, and we just walked straight into it. Yeah, I know the feeling. Sick fucking bastards. They could tell we knew nothing, and they enjoyed it. They got a kick out of torturing him. Well, there's at least ten of them who won't be doing the Energizer bunny routine any longer. And this was McCormack's idea. Why did he send you here? What was he after? He said to try and uncover a link between the triads and the Yardies. He's out of his mind. Anybody knows the Chinese have nothing to do with these guys. This stinks, Ryan. You said it, Frank. We tried to tell McCormack about House's snitch. He had the dope on a suspect crack plant south of here, but he didn't want to know. He sent us here instead. Seems like coppers are more in danger from McCormack these days than they are from the villains. What do you mean? Don't worry about it, Ryan. Get Aris on his feet. We've got to get out of here. Sounds like it's kicking off out there again. We can't wait for backup. Then where are you going? Back to the station. I'm going to have it out with our DCI. Use the rear exit. It's war out front. OK, Carter, we're right behind you.
Need a cut. Another one. I'll take it. Heard about this guy. What's the fucking problem? McCormick, I'm coming. Where you go, Nicole? I think I'm taking it. Hey! I just polished that. so it doesn't spot me.
got ghosts on his ears. I smell a huge stinking rat, and it's called McCormack. I need the guns out of here today. Does Charlie know about this? Who's paying you? Well, actually, you both are. Charlie's washed up. He's ancient history. All right, Mac, where's the stuff going? Guns loaded. Why does Charlie piss about with all this stuff? You know, Charlie, he'll never change. Counterfeit fridges, washing machines, he's nickel and dime. He's done well for himself, though. Charlie's still trying the long firm. This is the new century. I'll help get the car ready. <laughs> Jamal would like to get his hands on Carter for this stuff. He's not the only one. There's a lot of people who'd like to get Carter in an empty room. Their own guns? McCormack could sell his mother if he thought he could make a tenner. Charlie isn't going to like this. Charlie's the past. McCormack's the future. <laughs> he may be the past, but he still likes to ring necks. Yeah, there's nothing squeamish about Charlie. <laughs> My God, what have we got here? This is the gear from the Shad Thames bust. Oh, my Cormac, you sly bastard, playing both ends off against the middle. I love you. You're mine now. before the trial. Yeah, Joe Fielding, Carter's partner. There'll be guards on the door, so take some friends. He's in UCL hospital, intensive unit on the second floor. That's all I know. Because it's signposted, you bloody idiot. A walk. Don't fuck it up. There's enough problem with that crazy bastard Ammon shooting up half of London. You'll keep McCormack. There's no way those bastards are going to get to jail.
Slow down! Let him recover, Frank. Beth nor Green are gonna make an attempt on this. Shit, mate. You okay? I'm fine, Frank. I just heard about McCormack. Heard about McCormack? How could you know? I finally got the dope to prove that he's bent. You haven't heard? Heard what? I've just tracked him to a warehouse that's full of dope and guns from a flying squad bust. He's bent, and I've got him. Mate, he's dead. You've got nothing. That psycho who killed his wife. You know him, Hammond. Yeah. He just burst into the station and shot the bastard. I can't believe it. I just saw him ten minutes ago. Well, Cormac was into some very serious business, Frank. I've been sniffing around it for a while. As far as I can tell, he's been on Charlie Johnson's pad for years. The head of the flying squad and the pad to Johnson. Can you fucking believe it? You've seen it for yourself, son. The only way to get them is to find out exactly what they've got. There's a ton of stuff down at the depot. That's nothing, Frank. Charlie's been at this for 30 years, lad. He's got scores of legitimate and illegitimate businesses and holdings. Until we can unravel what he's got and how he runs it, we'll never know the full extent of what he's been up to. If we can prove his links to these businesses and where the cash comes from, we can nick him for years of unpaid taxes. I heard McCormick talk about a lockup where he keeps his real records. He'd never been able to find it. Taxes? You must be joking. Can't we just shoot the boss and do the world a favor? He's a weed son with long roots. We've got to weed him out completely. It's not good enough just lopping off the top. Find the lockup, Frank. It's supposedly in one of the railway arches in Scoresby Street. But be careful. It's a real rabbit worrying around there. Get the file, Frank, and we can put him away for good. Oi, <laughs> oh, Bill! You're one! Uh, too bad. Split up! Hold tight, Carter! Uh. Go on, Frank. I'll cover you. Come on, babe. Uh. Uh. 
Fuck you and fuck Charlie. There's nothing left of this thing. Still up there, we need your help, Carter. You'll get no sympathy here. Let's head back, everyone. Joe gave me a lead. If you want me, I'll be at some lockup over the river. Taxes? Who cares about taxes? Blind squad, out the car. Take care of my car. Stop! I need your details.
dodgy. Jesus Christ. Joe was right. It's all here. Jake's bust out. Planned it like a military operation. He's like a fucking spider. He's all over London. Finally, Charlie Charles. Finally, I'm gonna put you away. I'm gonna bust every place on this list. And I'm gonna start right here. Yeah. Looks like some warehouse in Southwark. TVR Lotus. TVR Lotus. TVR Lotus, it is there. These two look suspicious. Charlie has them both. Em and N, the girl. Why doesn't he get rid of them? Look, I've 
no idea. Charlie said he wants the drums of the soul beater. Drums? Fertiliser drums? Why? I don't know why he wants fertiliser on the boat. I get paid to mind my business. Do you get paid to be stupid? Maybe he wants to grow seaweed. You tell me, genius. I don't know, but I like the sound of it. OK, what's next? Come on, let's get on with it. Try to let Harry give him a good going over. Harry's a psycho about Hammond. Charlie's almost done. Get the car ready. OK, I'll just see if Jake's coming with us. Does he have? It'd be like the old days again, lads, where everyone showed a bit of respect. It's about time we showed everyone in this town who's the fucking boss. Once we've had a spring clean and tied up all the loose ends, it'd be safe to walk the streets of London again. We'll meet at the boat. What fucking boat? We're gonna drop him in the river? I'd like that. I've always wanted to do that. No, boy. We're gonna do him in style. Sparky, God rest his soul, knocked up a little something for us. You like explosives, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, thanks to the brow, the bomb's on board. I need you to go up north to the depot and bring back the remote detonator. What's he doing up there? Come here. Use your fat head, son. I don't want that remote anywhere near the bomb until kaboom time. You got that? That thing starts counting down as soon as I press it. Nice one, Jake. Don't fuck about, son. Press the button and the timer's set. Release the button and the bomb goes off instantly. So be fucking careful. You leave it to me. And when we're safely ashore, sipping pina coladas, click. I'll put them all out of their fucking misery. <laughs> it ain't a toy, son. When you get there, bring it straight to me. You here? What about the kid? We'll get the boy. All aboard the good ship Salvia. We're gonna show him what this country's made of. What we fought for. London was built on the Thames, and that, my son, is exactly where it's gonna end. Jesus, Charlie Hammond was right. You are a bloody drama queen. Come on, Harry. Let's lead the lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> now I'm truly fucked. Committed every crime known to man to get my boy back. And I'll find out I was just a pawn in that mad maniac scheme. Those fucking tribe boys are really gonna enjoy feeding me little fish. You did better than most. Looks like everyone underestimated you. It's me who's messed this up. I'm supposed to be good at this, remember? Instead, I've been caught like a rat in Charlie's trap. Yeah, well, at least you tried. At least I had one other person on my side. I just wish I had a little more time to spend with Alex before. I've been banged up for nearly all his life, and when I finally get out, this shit happens. I saw your kid. You did? How was he? Was he OK? He was OK. He'd been crying, but apart from that, he was all right. He must look like his mum, because he doesn't look much like you.
I only saw him for a second anyway, before all of Charlie's high-tech shit came crashing down around me. You did better than I did. I didn't even get close. That fat slag would probably blow up half of London and I'll take the rap for that as well. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Are you two just going to sit there feeling sorry for yourselves or do you want to stop that little Hitler? I know you. You're that copper from the prison van bust. He's filth, Mark. Frank Carter of the Flying Squad. That's right. And only fucking choice you've got right now if you don't want to end up wasting away in the nick. Yeah? Well, why is a bill want to help me? You can make a name for yourself just by turning me in. I know what he's up to, Hammond. I heard the old thing. I need you alive to ruin his plan. You're no good to me, dead. Besides, you won't last a night in the cells of this town. Not after Snow Hill. Don't trust him, Mark. He's filth. Look, as it is, I'm a dead man. And so is my boy. You give it to me straight, Carter. What do you want? I'll take that as an agreement for now. For now you're working for me, you do what I tell you. Don't fucking do it. Everybody knows he's just obsessed with Nick and the Jolsons. You get me out of here. You let me and her get my kit to safety. And I'll do whatever you want. Whatever it takes, Carter. You in? I'll help you, but don't trust him. He's no better than Charlie. That's good enough for me. Right, I'm going to blast this door. When I do, I'll we'll break loose upstairs. I'll try and cover you from up the hall. Take this shooter and try and get out. Remember, the kid's still at Charlie's gap, but you better hurry. Call me on this number when you've got him. I'll cut Jake off. Remember, Hammond, you owe me. You owe me your life. Get one thing straight, Carter. I want Jolson as much as you do, but we get my boy to safety first, all right? OK, Hammond. Now stand back. I'm going to blast this door.
Charlie wants everyone down at Sol Vita. Get the guns loaded. Jake's preparing for war. Bloody Jake, you'll get everyone killed. AKs and shotguns have four presents, boys. Why am I, a donkey? How about someone else giving a hand? We could go up against the SES with this gear. Carter. Hammond. I'm at the depot. Jake's just about to leave. He's got Arthur Bethnal Greenwell with him. I need some backup. I don't give a shit. Charlie's just took off with Alex. You get the flying squad. I've got to get my boy. I'm off the squad, Hammond. I'm suspended. My boss, the bastard you executed, he belonged to Charlie. Unless I get the Jolsons, I've got no way of clearing my name. So what, copper? Don't tell me your troubles. Every cop, every villain in London wants me dead. And I've got to get my boy. You agreed, Hammond. It's you and me now. We're going up against them. Don't know him anything, Mark. Listen, Hammond. Jake must be heading for the meeting. Charlie intends to sort out all the loose ends. Yeah? So where's he going? To some old cargo ship called Sol Vita at St. Saviour's Dock. He's going to take care of everyone. Are you winding me up? What's he going there for? What do you think? They're taking your kid there. Charlie was going to deliver you to all the other gangs. He's out to finish it. Charlie's going to blow the whole thing sky high, Hammond, so you better get there. Shut it, copper. I'll keep my word. We're on our way, all right? Right, go for the kid. I'll go for Jake and the detonator. Flying squad training. Can't touch the filthy thing.
the old waterfront. DC car, I know you. Armed police, blah, blah, blah. I know you wouldn't listen. Come on, Carter. Oi, Bill! Uh. 
congestion, we don't feel well, eh? What you got? but you can't hide.
or about the Kopnik, he's been straight up. Shut it, Mark. You're pushing your luck. I gave you a break because of Seuss, but I'll never go out on a limb for the filth. I can't have the filth now in my business. You'd all be dead if it weren't for him, Nick. He's a very lucky white man for be pushing your luck right now. No, not police. We must deal with policemen. Go on, Mark. Get out of here. You're criminal trash, a lot of you! I don't need your help, Hamilton. Why would I? I don't need any favours from scum! A Frank fucking car to the flying squad! That's right, the flying squad. The Met's finest. Be a long fucking day in January before I beg for help from criminal trash! That's enough from you, filth. This is my town. Not yours, Jungle Bunny. Not yours. And not yours either, you slanty eye fucker. Mine! I was running this town when you were still being slapped by your dad for wearing the bed. I ran this town with real men. Like Ronnie and Reggie. With respect. We knew what was what. And who was who. But now what we got? Fucking spear chuckers. We need shooters where no one's safe. Turning nothing into a madhouse. Smackheads, crackheads. Mixing the fucking races. Well, I'm sorry. Enough's enough. So out of fucking order. You give these people a bit of space. And what'd you get? Fucking disorder. It's gonna stop. And it starts right now. Somebody shoot a fucker. He's gonna die. Time to end it. What do you mean? Don't do that. If his finger comes up the fucking and blows us all, scum on the hammers. Now, two world wars, one world cup. Get the fuck. Christ, it's breaking apart! about to go up and you're still arguing. That's flying squad training.
DC Frank.